Hello and welcome to MPRP support and training. Hope you are doing very well and staying in good health. So this video is all about how to submit an article on MPRP. So for that, first you need to see our previous video like how to register on MPRP. Once done with a successful registration, you can simply log in by using your registered email ID and the password. So I am simply logging from the ID by which I have registered in the previous video. So I am logging by my ID and password and I'm selecting my profile as, a, as an author. This is the author profile as here you can see this is my author panel. My name is showing here. This is my dashboard. Here I can manage article. In the manage article option, I'm getting an uh, tab to submit articles. So I want to submit a new article. I will go here, submit article. Once I am going to the submission of the article, it is a six or seven step procedure. The first step is journal selection. So at very first stage, I need to select the journal of my interest or journal of my choice. As I mentioned, I am a microbiology student. I will be, uh, I want to submit the paper into Indian Journal of Microbiology Research. So I am selecting the journal and I'm moving forward to the next step. So the next step is article type, whether my paper is original research article, review article, case report, editorial or others. So I have done a research in the or uh, in that particular topic. So I'm choosing my article type as original research article. Then it is asking for the title of the, my article, but as it's a test video just to show you how to submit an article. So I am keeping the name of my article as test article, fine. So I am putting it multiple times. This is the article title, but you have to put your actual title. Then it is asking for the abstract. So. I kept the same in the abstract itself and uh, abstract should not be more than 300 words. Like it should be very defined and a, a summary. You can say the summary of the paper is the abstract. Then it is asking for the keyword selection. I just selected three to five keywords are enough. So I selected one. Then I'm moving to the next step. The next step is subject information. It is asking for my subjects. So there are three categories, subject category, sub-subject and sub-subject category. So the first thing is subject. What's my main subject? So for example, my main subject is medicine. I'm choosing this one. Then my sub-subject is microbiology. So I'm choosing my microbiology and saving the subject. My next, the uh, other category in the microbiology is food microbiology, medical microbiology, then clinical microbiology. So you can choose from the uh, box here, but if you are not able to finding your, if you are not able to found your subject, you can simply click on others. Okay, then save subject. Then I'm moving to the next step. The next step is author information. Is It is asking for me uh, to add the author details. So I'm adding the author details as I want to submit my email ID. So you need to keep your registered email ID here. So this is my email ID. Then uh, it automatically took some of my details from the registration step. Then I need to keep my ORCID ID. ORCID ID is a 16 digit score. So if you have ORCID ID, you can submit or if you don't have, you can easily create your ORCID account by clicking on this, what is ORCID? Then contributors role. What was my role in submission of the paper? For example, I have done the methodology part of the paper. Then it is asking for my department. Uh, for example, I am a microbiology student from biotechnology department. So I'm choosing my department. Then I am going to add the author. So this author is added here. If you want to add more authors, you can simply add from here in the same manner. Now I'm choosing like I am the corresponding author. And yes, I confirm that all the terms and conditions have been read by me. So you need, you must need to read all the informations given here. Then I'm moving to the next step. 
the next step is article file so it is asking for article file attached table attached figures ethical committee so these three things are optional like whether you want to submit your article file your tables in a separate file then it is up to you otherwise you can also put all the figures all the tables in in the text by citing them properly okay then i am putting my article file so the article file is simply you can choose from your desktop where you have saved uh, in the same. So I kept my paper uh, named as new article. So I just clicked here and upload file. So automatically my article file will be into the portal, into the submission portal. Then the cover letter, it is mandatory in cover letter, complete affiliation, complete address along with ORCID ID, <clears throat> email ID, everything is required. So I am uploading the cover letter also, which I have prepared for the submission of this manuscript. So I uploaded my cover letter as well. Then the next step is. There was some error in uploading the cover letter. So I am uploading it again. The next step is review process and charges. So I am moving to the next step. This is second last step. Now it is asking for the review process, peer review or rapid review. The difference between peer review and rapid review is that Peer review is normal review in which the uh, time will be as per the normal procedure. Like within 45 to 60 days, you will get the acceptance of your letter, acceptance of your paper. But in rapid peer review, it's like we will be putting some extra efforts. Some We will be assigning some extra reviewers and the review process uh, in a bit fast track manner rather than normal one. So publication will be same uh, as the peer review. But you will get the acceptance letter at bit earlier stages. So I'm choosing normal review process and then printing type like color printing. If I want, then I have to pay 300 rupees extra. So I'm choosing the black and white print. Then source of funding information. If you have, you can submit your, uh, you, you can uh, choose the, I have received funding for that. You need funder uh, name and the funder ID or the grant number, but I don't have any funding then you simply uh, click on no. Same in the case of clinical trial registry, then you are moving to the next step. In this step, it is a final step. Like if you want to still change your decision to change the journal, to change the keywords. So from here, you can edit easily. And if everything is found okay, then agree terms and conditions and just submit your paper. So this is the whole procedure of submission of a paper. It is very easy and always once you submit the article, it will give you the article reference number, a four digit code. So all the communications from the editorial office will be uh, happening with you from this number only. So this is a very simple step and very simple methodology for submission of an article into MPRP. Hope it is very clear to you all, but still if you have any issues or any queries, you can simply contact uh, on our support team. Okay, thank you so much.